Howdy folks, Travis here with Coyote Moon Creative, your Squarespace web designer. In today's tutorial, we're gonna talk about the events page. Um, so one of the issues with the events page is that it's still built on the old platform technology, 7.0, meaning you're using insert points to add text blocks, line blocks, video, things of that nature, instead of having that drag and drop functionality of Fluid Engine in 7.1. So a little strange, but both the events page and the blog page still leverage 7.0 technology. Um, so that being said, there's a couple of hiccups when you're adding events to an events page. And the first one is this view event button. Now this is just standard. So anytime you add an event to an events page, it's gonna display this view event button. Um, you can likely change the title of that and you can obviously change um, kind of the structure and the design of that button. Uh, the color, the font, um, the border radius, things of that nature using CSS. There's nothing within the Squarespace editor that really allows you to um, design or customize this products page all that much. So um, the first major issue I see when we look at this events page is the view event, event button has little to no margin between the bottom of the actual event and the actual button. So this looks terrible, in my opinion. I know it lines up with the uh, product image, or sorry, the, the event image thumbnail, but it's so smushed that it really just is throwing the whole design off on this page. So a couple things I'm gonna show you today, um, CSS code on how to increase that padding and margin between the bottom of the event text and the view event button. And then the other is gonna be um, updating the look and feel of this little date tag that uh, is a cool feature um, that displays over the top of your thumbnail image for the event. Uh, but again, there's no way to control th the background color of this white, to change the font, to change the weight or any of that stuff. So to make this events page look more in line with my brand, I'm gonna use a couple code snippets of CSS to target both this date tag and the view event button. So let's jump right in. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to go to the custom CSS editor and then give yourself a bunch of room so that you can focus on exactly what you're working on. And I am just going to title this uh, events page view event button. And then the first CSS code snippet that we're going to add is we're going to target the events list button. We're gonna give it a margin top of 25 PX. So that's the spacing between the top of this button block and the bottom of this event text. Transition all one second important. Actually don't need that. Um, this is just basic adding a margin. And then, you know, if this margin isn't big enough, you can make it 30. And you can see how it just adjusts the size accordingly there. I actually feel like 30 PX is kind of the perfect number for this. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that since we're increasing that margin, it's actually gonna drop the view event button below the thumbnail image. So if we look at this in full screen, you'll see what I mean. But the spacing is consistent now, right? So I would rather have this than the smushed version that we saw earlier. Um, so go ahead and play around with the button there. Um, you could obviously, you know, you could also change the color. So you could say background, green. Um, you could change the border, the border radius, all that good stuff. Um, okay, so that's the button. And then the next one is we are going to be focusing on the event list date tag here. So the first thing that we wanna do is add a name for this. Event list date tag. And then we're gonna be targeting the event list date tag start date. So that's gonna be November 1st, 
start month, add our curly brackets, and then we're going to set a background. And I'm gonna save this and grab my color hex code because I want this to be the green that is set as the border of our view event button. So to do that, I'm just gonna copy and paste the hex color code. And now watch what happens here when I add this color. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to target the events page and we're going to target the date tag enter. And that's basically just the background color is what we're focusing on. The background color here, but we're going to change it from white to green. So to do that, we're going to plug in this code. So event list date tag enter. That's the selector curly brackets background. This is actually targeting the background color. We've got our green hex code from our brand. And then the border, we added a little border of one PX solid black. So now that sort of matches the rest of the brand here. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at let's take a look at the events list start date. And let's see. Yep. Okay, so the event list date tag start date targets here. November 1st is the start, April 30th is the end of this particular event. So we're gonna title it events page start date. Event list date tag start date color. Um, we're actually gonna keep it with the same color. Um, we're actually gonna target the font weight let's say 600 you could change the color as well as you just saw i changed it from black to white um, you can change the font weight you can do bold you can do italics whatever suits your needs so that is going to be good for that particular selector now, the next one is we're going to target the end date. So we're going to title this one end date, and we are going to use this CSS selector. Events list date tag end date curly brackets. And just like above, we're going to do the font weight of 600. So now we got a pretty cool upgrade here for our events page. 
a lot easier to see for the customers. Um, so anyways, this has uh, been a fun learning experience for me. I hope you all have learned something from this. If you're working with a client that has multiple, multiple events that he's, he or she is displaying on an events page, um, I think it is really useful just to add these simple few lines of CSS code to really take it from bland to great. So again, Travis with Coyote Moon Creative, uh, your Squarespace expert web designer. Uh, I can be reached at Travis at CoyoteMoonCreative.com. Um, and I would love to chat with you anything Squarespace related. Thanks for watching.